So, it's a bit of an up, up the yard video, but there's big some big changes up the yard. Number one. We've tinned the corner. Tin not turned. Anyway, I'll show you the rest when we uh, have a go at the video. Right. Your van smells a bit warm. So, yeah, as you, if you remember, this was all open. Um. We had a load of sheets of tin there, so we've tinned it. Just tidied the corner up. I also left all my crap out here. So I'm going to put that all away. And then we'll go up and have a look in the shop, in the workshop. And for all the doubters, the van's still reasonably tidy. I'm doing good at that. So, we're up in the workshop. Like I said, I've had massive sort out. Found the 13 that I was looking for. Put that back in the set with the rest of them. So that set's now complete again. Um, so, big, real big tidy workshop. No, I've, I've actually made the workbench worse. So at least, you know, probably the floors... No, that, that's worse as, as well. But I have had a big sort out. Are we ready? So it does look very much different up here. So... First job we did to gain the bit of space. If you remember, the little baler was sat here. So it was worthwhile investment. It actually works. With a little baler now. It's popped down here. So thing behind that always seem to be short on space up here and sort of like struggle to get like smurf up here if you remember we got smurf up, up here and you're sort of like struggling to work around it so now we've created this space stand up here so this actually feels like a proper workshop space now um we had the shelving it was down there that's all been relocated to over here with the stuff that needs knocking around but doesn't necessarily need to be quite so accessible. And we've put these up and filled them up with crap. So now that's a bit more extra storage space. And the most important one, because we've opened this space up now, <laughs> the poor old little international is now a bit more uh, sort of in the workshop space, if that makes sense. So it'll aggravate me more with the theory of getting stuff done. There is an update on her. She has, I don't even want to know how much it's cost, but a load of parts on order. So if you remember, going back, uh, one of these spindles is bad because the... Uh, the bearing has spun on it. Um, also, didn't do one of the hubs any favours. We've got new hub caps, new wheel bearings, uh, new thrust bearings that sit on there. So I think we've got everything ordered to put the front axle back together. Then should be drivable. And then we can start looking at the clutch on her. And the service. She definitely wants a good service. I say, get to that stage, we can then start looking and giving her a really damn good clean. And we can start getting her into a, shall we say, usable state. 
So, yeah, that's the update on her. Smurf. Uh, we haven't done anything in Smurf, but she's now... We've got a few little jobs. Uh, one of the headlights isn't working. The little flashes down here aren't working. Um, I think that battery drain is down to the radio, so we're probably going to order a new, a new radio for her. Um, don't know what to do with it yet. Um, possibly go for the Bluetooth unit like we've got in the Massey, which was ridiculously cheap, but it's actually not a bad stereo. Um, so that's her, her all set up. Massey, um, all the, the spotlights that we bought, they're all fitted, wired up, full work and order. So she's all good to go. So do have a little few little projects you want to do on the weight. Um, on the weight frame, we have these spotlights still don't work, so I need to do a bit of investigation onto that. Uh, we also have down there six massy weight. Hang on, get out my own shadow. So they're going to go into the back of here, and we also have some. Little flashy markery things. Uh, I'm not quite sure where I'm going to stick them yet. Um, there might be a bit of jiggery pokery. They might end up getting relocated somewhere. And but yeah, we've got a few little jobs to do on that just to make it a bit more sort of pleasant. And we're going to want the flashes as well because we are as well in the process of looking at a machine for her. When <laughs> say looking, trying to find one. Um, the decision has been made. We are looking for a hedge cutter. Uh, I have an idea what I want. And I have a budget of what I can afford. And it's trying to get the two to marry up. Mate sent me a really nice one um, the other day. Um, but, uh, yeah, it was uh, <laughs> a bit out of my price range. <laughs> so, yeah, it's... I mean, it doesn't seem like we've done on a, a lot in the workshop, but it now makes it that much bigger, that much more usable space. I'm even tempted to say, I might even move that work light further down that beam so it lights up that area a bit more. Don't know. It's a possibility. But yeah, I say, I should have videoed it, but it was a bit of a sort of, I was I'd scratching my way through as I went. Um, yeah, but it it's, does feel a lot nicer space now. I've, I've actually got myself in a position now where I can work on all three tracks if I want and get round them to actually do stuff to them, which would be really good. Uh, another thing I might do. I might look at putting another power socket over to that side. So, yeah, we're having a big sort out in the workshop. So, hey, I know I missed Workshop Wednesday video. Um, I've been <laughs> very busy. Uh, as as you most people are aware, um, we're getting close to the end, end of hedge cutting season. So, of course, need to catch up on that. We're also in the start of slurry season. Um, new custom uh, try and do a bit it with and uh, well you want to be trying to do a bit with him however you want to word it uh, so yeah just trying to play the balancing act of them pair uh, at the moment and trying to get uh, through that lot it's all good fun all good fun but yeah it's just just a bit of a, a catch up video just to say I'm yes I, I'm aware of Mr. Video and all that lot but Anywho, looks better. Does look better up here. So, like I did say, this is a bit of a bit of a quick one, but uh, yeah, happy in how the workshop up looks now, and you know everything does seem to fit in here a lot better. So, yeah, that'll do for this video, I think. So, as always, don't forget to give it a grubby thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already 
comments down below. Don't forget the shop in the description. Just click the link, take you straight to it. And that's it. Stay safe, stay well, look after yourselves, and don't forget to look after each other. There's one quick thing before we go. I mentioned about this mug. So I think just just smash it, really. Ready? I'm joking. Um, like I said, it's a really nice mug. I'm not going to smash anything with Smurf on it. And it's actually a very nice picture that my wife took as well. So what I'm going to say, if you would like this mug, I'm going to say this is going, only going to be open to people in the UK just because, um, well, we all, all in the UK know way, a, the, the issues we're having with the postal service and I don't want to upset anybody by not delivering. And also, I don't know how much it would cost to put that thing across water. So I'm going to say, I'm really sorry, UK only. But if you would like to win it, first of all, as is all the case with all these, uh, what's the names, you must be subscribed and you must give it a grubby thumbs up, video a grubby thumbs up. And then if you go down in the comment section, little comment however you want to put and at the end of the comment put where you're from how old you are and how long you've been watching for i'm going to run it for a couple of weeks and then we'll have a draw and you get a mug of course if you would like to buy a mug or a t-shirt or key ring or anything else don't forget to go down into the bottom into the description section, find the shop, click on the link, have a look. There is a nice selection of really nice mugs and key rings and other things if you want to buy your own. That's it. We are we are we are calling it. Don't forget. Subscribe. Grubby thumbs up. And go down and uh, give it a what's name. Go into the comment section and... Yes. That's it. We're done. We're out of here. We'll see you on the next one.